Let's understand what is this. It is done with an instrument called the direct of thermoscope at a distance of 25 centimeters. This can be asked, you will have to remember the distance that you are going to use to do the distant direct of thermoscopy is 25 centimeters and it contains a light source and a viewing window. This is the window through which the ophthalmologist will look at the eye. Okay. The reflected light unlike the retinoscope which was in the shape of a streak, this is circular in shape framed by the pupillary window. Okay. Now the interpretation will depend on what kind of the reflex that you are get, getting back from the patient's eye. If the reflex is a red glow, it is normal. If it is grey glow, it is indicative of a retinal detachment. If there is no glow at all, it is a clear cut case of vitreous hemorrhage and if there are black spots against the red glow, they can be a cataract or a corneal opacity. Okay? So a red glow is the normal finding in DDO whereas a grey glow indicates a retinal detachment, no glow is a vitreous hemorrhage and a black spot in the center against the red glow may be indicative of a cataract or a corneal opacity. So, look at this procedure, the light from the ophthalmoscope, you can see it is being reflected onto the patient's eye and it passes through the pupil, hits the retina and comes back. This is what will give you the normal red glow. The reflected light is circular, framed by the pupillary window and in the normalized we have discussed it is red in color, something like this. This is a normal red fundal glow that you have to see in a normal patient. Now, a grayish glow in retinal detachment will appear something like this. This is the retinal detachment. Uh, you can see the grayish glow in your distant direct of thalmoscopy. Now, a black spot against the center. See, you can see these black spots against the uh, red fundal glow. This can be indicative of a cataract or a corneal opacity. How will you differentiate these two is by the method of parallax. Okay. Now the black spot in the center means that the light that is being focused into the eye is being obstructed before it reaches the retina. Okay. How will you differentiate if the opacity is in uh, the lens or on the cornea? You are going to use the method of parallax. So, you ask the patient to look up. In case of a corneal opacity, the black spot will move along with the movement of the eye. That is, it will go up. Whereas, in a lenticular opacity such as a cataract, it moves in the opposite direction. See, so try to look up and side to side your cornea will move along with the movement of your eye. So, if the opacity is is on your cornea, it will move along with the eye movement. However, if you look up, your lens will move down. So, the lenticular opacity will also move down. The same thing applies to left and right. Okay. So, when you look down, the black spot on the cornea will move down, whereas that on the lens, such as a cataract, will move up. Okay. Now, same sided movement will be corneal opacity easy to understand right and an opposite sided movement will be the lenticular opacity. Now an important point DDO is the gold standard for locating a subluxated lens. Look at this image you can clearly see the margins of the subluxated lens over here. So this is the um, gold standard for diagnosis of a subluxated lens against the red fundal glow. Now let's look at this direct of thalmoscopy. There is no fixed distance at which the doctor would do the direct of thalmoscopy. Okay? But you can say that it is very close. But the number is not fixed unlike distant direct of thalmoscopy where it was 25 centimeters. Right. Now, the aim you have you want to look at three main structures in direct of thermoscopy that is the optic disc, the macula and the fovea. These three you are going to concentrate upon. 
Now, if you exam uh, related important points over here, the optical quality that is the type of image that you will see in direct ophthalmoscopy is virtual, erect and magnified, VEM, okay. It is magnified 15 times, please memorize this number. The image is magnified 15 times and the quality is virtual, erect and magnified. And the degrees, the extent of retina that you will be able to visualize is about 6 to 10 degrees of retina and nothing beyond that. So you can be able to clearly see the optic disc, macula and fovea in the direct of thalmoscopy. Now if you want to look further away, further peripheral retina, this procedure you are going to adopt. It is called the indirect of thalmoscopy and it is done with this instrument on the head of this person. This is known as indirect ophthalmoscope. The patient is lying down as you can see in this image and the distance is about the arm length of the doctor. Okay, The lens that the doctor is holding in her hand is a 20 diopter lens. This has been asked as a question. So the 20 diopter lens is used for indirect ophthalmoscopy and the structures as I have just said you can see much of the peripheral retina as further as up to pars plana okay that's the farthest structure that you can visualize that is pars plana pars plicata cannot be seen and the quality as opposed to that of direct of thermoscopy the quality of the image here is rim that is real inverted and magnified okay real inverted and magnified that is the quality of the image and the magnification is 3 to 5 times of indirect ophthalmoscopy. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sai Suguna, your mentor for ophthalmology at MediCoab. Now thanks for watching the video. Now we have put such videos all together in our ophthalmology app. The trial version you can download from the link over here or in the description box below.